I'm Todd Donovan of the New York Red Bulls, and you're watching PressPassTV.com. Hey, I'm Morgan Page. Welcome to Press Pass TV. The New England Patriots just finished an undefeated season, but during this unbelievable run, defensive lineman Jarvis Green didn't forget about his off-field responsibilities to give back. He shares his latest charitable venture with Andrea Fasano. Thanks. I guess you're going to have to have one of me. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Aside from his current success as a defensive lineman for the New England fan, Patriots, so. Jarvis Green is becoming known for his Goodwill Foundation, as well as his attention to life off the field. You want a picture? <laughs> oh, she's stepping up. Yeah. There you go. Come on. He's, having, he's, having, he's, having, he's having a good time. And I mean, football is one part, but then it's still living, you know, living life. Hey, think you're doing it well? Oh, yeah. I can't complain. <laughs> hey, everybody's doing okay. His latest project has been creating these t-shirts, which are on sale now through his website, JarvisGreen.com. He's distributed them to each of his teammates, donning the Patriots with the nickname, New England 60 Minute Men. I've been doing some stuff, getting some, my name out there and doing some stuff with the media, mm -hmm. and really just trying to sell these, sell these shirts and, and um, just trying to do positive things for the community. It's something that we always use, 60 Minutes, and just to put it out and put it on a shirt and. I guess just to get a brand for it and just uh, pass throughout the New England area. We yeah, caught up with Jarvis in the middle of a custom fitting to find out all about these new tees. Well, I have a shirt right here. What a coincidence, huh? I'm a 60 minute man. Got the fist coming through, you know, represents us as, you know, the athletes. 60 minutes, ball being four quarters, and you hear people talk about us running the score up. And I mean, we had a great game against Buffalo this past week, 56 to 10, but hey, it's a 60 minute game. I think they went in stores today. You can get them at Bob's stores, uh, web, my website, JarvisGreen.com. And also the Minutemen, they was always ready for battle. You know, for us, no matter what time it was, but Minutemen representing us as the players coming on the field. A lot of the proceeds are going to my foundation, Jarvis Green Foundation, to help Hurricane Katrina victims. And at his first annual foundation event, Jarvis was happy to talk up the causes he supports. Now, what made you choose Hurricane Katrina victims? The area where the levee broke, I used to be there every summer playing around. And they talk about this low-income low area, it's a nice area. My, my auntie, she's in California, I lived there for like 62 years. It's a nice area, it's a nice suburb, safe place to play, but the water came through and, and I mean, still today, it's still a mess. I lost a lot of family members through the storm and aunties, uncles, they lost homes and it's been a devastation for us and for my family personally. But on outside of that for us, the problems that we still have in today, it's been two years since the storm and if you go down there, you still see, you know, for us, street lights not there, you see people still don't have running water. I mean, for us, the destruction side, you still see houses on the side of the road. There's little things about for us, what the people are going through today, presently, is still a problem. And some of the proceeds are going to uh, yeah. Marquise so no, Hill, his sons, Rashad Hill's private trust fund. Yeah, his son is my godson. Okay. Yeah, I christened him, so. It was very hard for me, man. He was like a brother. And I mean, for us, everything that happened, I mean, I still think about it. He's on my mind. And it's going to be a, a remembrance for me for the rest of my life. Well, how's the foundation going? Oh, pretty good so far. We had a wine taste in uh, what, September 21st. It was a nice turnout, and uh, hopefully we're going to do something in Baton Rouge in July uh, for us for the foundation. So we're trying to get some things done. I mean, trying to move around up here too, like in the Pawtucket area, and uh, trying to get some things done in Providence also. I'm trying to do something nice, I mean, because God blessed me with a lot of different things in life that I have now, and because of that, I, I could do things like this and give back to help those less fortunate. For more information about the 60 Minute Men's shirts or the foundation, please visit JarvisGreen.com. On the move in New England, Andrea Fasano, Press Pass TV. We hope you enjoyed that story. And if you want to see more behind-the-scenes action, check out PressPass.tv or YouTube.com slash PressPass. We add stories all the time, so check back often. For everyone here at Press Pass TV, I'm Morgan Page. Bye.